Hi guys, this is Sadek from Webdon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to run any rooted apps on your phone without actually obtaining root on your phone. Yes, that is possible. There's no need to unlock the bootloader or obtain root on your phone. Likewise, you will not fail any plain integrity test as well because your phone has currently the log bootloader and in the log ecosystem, we will be running all the rooting, the rooting apps as well. So on that note, let me show you how this could be achieved. So first and foremost, please install the VMOS app from Play Store. So open the Play Store app onto your phone and install the VMOS app, then tap on open and wait for a few seconds. You will now have to open the app, then tap on allow and after that tap on go to activation. There are three ways of activating the app. The easiest way is to disable the child process restriction, but that is not working for me. At least let me show you if I go there and go to open. So you could see I've already enabled this feature, but still even then it's not showing as check mark. So there is some issue with this feature. So I'm not using this feature. I'm using the second option, notification method. In this, you will have to enable the USB, the wireless debugging on your phone. So tap on it. And now you have to go to the pairing menu from the pairing menu, enable wireless debugging, tap on wireless debugging now and pair device pairing code. You will, okay, not the QR code, it's the, it's the pairing code. You now get a code 796375. And over here in the, in the notifications, you will now get a notification of, on your phone as well, which should be over here. You now have to type in the code over here. So in my case, the code is 796375. Just give me a second, 796375. Let me expand this as well. 796375, hit the enter key. And VMOS is now running, the pairing is not successful. So you could also use the all the three approaches, but in my case only, this one is working. Once that is done, go back and now tap on this add device, choose an OS. In my case, I'm using the latest Android, which is Android 9. Tap on ROM install, tap on confirm. This will take up to around, I guess, a couple of minutes. Give it the access, the prompt, tap on confirm while using the app. And the ROM is now being installed. It will take up to around a couple of minutes at the very max. You will get a few ads. That's all normal. Just close the ad from here. And the VMOS is now being installed. The ROM is being installed. We have chosen the ROM Android 9, which is, the, I guess, Android Pi, I suppose. So with that said, let's wait for a few more seconds. And it will then install the ROM and we will now carry out all the tasks inside this ROM only. The ROM is being installed for the first time only. For the next time, you could directly launch the app and use the ROM. So wait for a few more seconds. And then your task stands complete. It's only for the first time usage. And that's it. Once that is done, now you have to choose the Android 9 ROM, tap on it and tap on quick entry. And for the first time, it will do a setup. It will take around, I guess, 40 to 50 seconds and you will get a few ads. This, this is the most hateful thing of this app, but the ads, ads are also only for the first time usage. From the next time, you will not get any ads. So guys, in my case, I had to watch the ad for around a minute. This is the most hateful thing of this app. But after that, you will not see any ad anywhere. So that's just about it. And we are now inside the Android 9 OS, as you could see. And the best part, you already have the super user rooting app over here, as you could see. So now first and foremost, launch the browser, which is the, I guess it's the VR browser, launch it, tap on OK, give it the required access, tap on OK once again, and go to permission, give it the storage access. Now go back and by default, it's set to the Baidu web browser. So change the Baidu to Google search engine. Tap on the search icon and now over here, type in google.com and hit the enter key. And we're now inside the Google. Now let's search for any routing app. Let's say root checker. It's the easiest one to get. So type in the root checker APK and download APK. Let's say from up to down, you may get from any site of your choice. I'm using the up to down website. And now then tap on the download button from here. And we will now get the APK file, tap on OK. The file is now onto our phone. Let's install the app. Settings, in enable, allow from the source. Go back, tap on install. And you could now see the root checker is now installed onto our phone. Tap on open. And let's now have a look at the result as well. Get started. So first of all, type on verify root. And you will now get a super user request. Choose remember choice forever. And tap on allow. And that's it. You could see we have now obtained root. The routing is up and running without any issue whatsoever. Our phone is a Nexus 5 and the Android version is 9. So the ROM is currently based on Nexus 5 stock OS for the Android OS 9. And you could now get the required job done. You could see we have obtained root and the routing app is shown here as well. The root checker basic. 
you not install the app of your choice and get the job done the is the entire same os ui as you get in the stock ui experience as you could see you may go to the about page tap on build number seven times you will get the dev option as well go back go to system advanced dev options and you could now see we have got all the options over here as well it's the entire exactly same os android 9 build as you get on the android 9 os so guys you could now install the required routing app of your choice without the need for any obtaining root whatsoever so your, your stock ecosystem is uh, this is the stock one of my case in my case stock in os 15 so there's no need to root this it's currently non-rooted there's no need to touch this as well simply open the vmos app from here and then go to the os entry and from here you may carry out the required task and get hold of the required apk the routing apk and then install it onto your phone as well there's just one catch the issue is that we are, we are using the android 9 os it's quite an old os so there are some apps which might not be installed onto your phone this is just one drawback of this there is no higher os we cannot get android 12 or 13 android 9 is the maximum which, which we can get and in that case there are a few routing apps which does not work in android 9 os but if your app is working quite easy then it's no cause of any concern as you could see the root checker app is working without any issue whatsoever and that's just about it if you want to for some re reason remove the os from your phone then simply launch the app of this is the app vmos app long press on it and tap on it and then select shut down first and after that again tap on it and then select settings and from here tap on delete virtual machine once that is done you must then simply re remove the apk as well so first do a shutdown then remove the android 9 os from there from the vmos app and then finally you may remove the vmos app from here as well so guys this is all from this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching